getting more breaking news now this time from karnataka as uh, in fact there has been request to the government to open educational institutes by the court and uh, the high court the karnataka high court has also allowed and asked for restraining students from wearing saffron shawls or scarves hijab or any religious flag should not really be sported inside the campus or inside the classroom these are observations and order coming from the karnataka high court as there has been uh, a request to the government to open educational institutes uh, this is what has happened remember the government in the state had asked the schools and colleges to be shut the matter was placed before the high court and now the court has requested the government to open the educational institution but it has also said that students who wear saffron shawls or sport a hijab or any kind of religious symbol even go ahead with a religious flag should not be allowed inside the campuses they should be restrained from entering the campus this coming from the karnataka high court we're talking about this interim order by the karnataka high court and to discuss this further i have my colleague revathi rajivan who has been tracking all the developments on this particular story revathi is live with me on the broadcast yes revathi what has the court observed Revathi if you can hear me uh, we have uh, access to the interim order by the Karnataka High Court uh, I believe the court has asked the government to open the educational institutes what more can you tell us those observations and remarks yesterday after the hearing was over that the educational institutions can be open but while the matter is pending before the court the larger questions of essential religious practices are also under question so until then until the matter is discussed students are restrained from entering classes uh, students or nobody should insist on wearing religious symbols or dresses while they enter classrooms the order has official order from the high court has come now where it clearly says that the high court restrains students from wearing saffron shawls hijab head scarf or carrying religious flags or the like within the classrooms now uh, it has also gone on to observe that as a cultured society and any uh, person in the name of religion or culture trying to disturb the peace and tran tranquility is not acceptable and that uh, uh, the high court is also pain to look at the ongoing situation which is not good considering the educational institutions have been shut over this particular issue so two important things that comes out of this order that follows yesterday's remarks that the chief justice has made is one that the educational institutions can be open the direction is given to the schools and other authorities to do so and secondly while the matter is pending before the court until further orders no student can enter the classroom wearing any religious dress or religious symbol revathi anything that you are picking from on ground after this interim order is there a sense of hostility uh, from the petitioners or something that will go against this order as far as the high court is concerned Well, the petitioners already did approach the Supreme Court based on those remarks yesterday, saying that the High Court's interim order is going against their conscience and that they are being forced to choose between their conscience and their right to education. So, if the students want to attend classes, want to exercise their right to education, then they will have to remove the hijab, which is going against their conscience. So, that is unfair, is what the petitioner has said, which is why they asked the Supreme Court to intervene. But the, with the Supreme Court, with the Apex Court refusing to intervene in this matter. At this point of time, saying that the High Court is hearing the matter on an urgent basis, uh, it seems like they will have to follow the High Court order. Now, it is interesting to note that classes are reopening only for uh, classes up to 10 standard. Uh, this issue, which is uh, predominantly around PU, pre-university college, which will open at a later time, we'll have to see what measures will be taken on the ground to follow this, or to ensure that on the ground the situation doesn't go back to what it was before the High Court order. right revathi let also let me also tell our viewers why we are breaking this at the moment this is the interim order by the karnataka high court mirror now has access the details of this 
interim order that was passed yesterday. The High Court, in fact, has now requested the schools to open and also the colleges. Uh, and the court has also observed that endless agitations are not a happy thing. The act that disturbs the peace in the name of religion cannot be allowed. These are observations by the Karnataka High Court. And uh, they have also observed that uh, it is not beneficial for the students if they continue to do that. And they should, in fact, return to the classrooms. These are observations by the Karnataka High Court as it requests the state government to open the educational institutions. On that note, I'm slipping into a very short break here on Mirror Now. News continues on the other side.